Hey friends, um, I wanted to send you a video message kind of about ice station and talk to you guys a little bit about it. Um, so a few things, um, I've been kind of neglecting having a real conversation about it because I wanted you guys to get in the rhythm of distance learning. Um, however, um, up up way above in the district have they've said that we have to you know really um get strict with it so just want to lay out um kind of the who's what's where's ones of isolation so um kind of the biggest thing that i need to say is that it is district mandated meaning you guys have to do isolation everybody in the district has to do isolation at the middle school level you guys have to do it for 30 minutes a week. 30 minutes, not less, not more if you don't want to. So um, with that being said, um, I wanna tell you why a little bit before I get into some of the um, other parts. The reason why iStation is such a good program to use it is because it tracks your learning. As Schoology tracks your learning throughout the course, or throughout a school year, so does iStation. So any teacher at any given moment can go in iStation, they can check your account, they can see what you've learned, what you're still struggling with, and then that information can move from year to year. So while you guys might not see the point in it, it's really beneficial on our end and as a district. So that's a little bit of the why we have to do it, how does it help us, it is because that information um, is so tiered to your ability um, and that moves with us year to year. So let's talk about for how long and how do we do it. So 30 minutes a week, you may do it over the course of the entire week. You wanna, you wanna do it five minutes a day? Do it five minutes a day until you hit 30 minutes. You wanna sit down and get it done in 30 minutes on a Thursday? Go for it. Does not matter to me. So you decide what's gonna work for you, okay? So train for 30 minutes throughout the week. Um, I've had issues with kids saying, um, hey, I'm going in, I know I spent 20 minutes on here, but when I go back into iStation, it says I spent zero minutes. What do I do about that? My best suggestion is to set a timer. Um, set a kitchen timer, set your iPad timer, set your cell phone timer for however long you wanna spend, time it, and then exit out. And just trust that it has tracked your time. Because on my end, it tells me exactly when you log in, exactly when you log out, and how much time you spent. So while you, your dashboard might not say that, mine will. And if you ever are like, hey, I don't know how much time I spent, shoot me an email and I can clarify that for you. Um, so set a timer. So 30 minutes a week, set a timer when you are going into train. Now, what are you actually doing? I have tried to make, make assignments. There has been issues with those assignments. So my best suggestion for you guys is when you go into iStation, click on reading with iSIP and spend 30 minutes in there. You might have already finished reading with ISIP for the month, and it might be taking you to Paige Turner, it could take you to the science one, it could take you to a jungle one. Fine, spend 30 minutes in there, okay? At the end of the week, iStation runs this huge report, it sends it off to the district, okay? It sends it off to me as well. So if you are not doing your 30 minutes, you will be getting an email home saying, hey, this is important, please get this done. I am trying my hardest to not load you guys with tons and tons and tons of work. Some of you might want the work, some of you might not have time for it, and that's fine. But iStation is just as important, just sorry, just as important as doing your Schoology work. I'm gonna try to balance your workload so you don't have tons and tons to do on Schoology and then 30 minutes on top of it. But real talk, I just had to be completely honest with you. You have to do 30 minutes a week. If you have any more questions, please let me know. Um, reach out to me via Schoology or through email um, and I can help you further from there. This video is being sent to you guys and your parents so they are 100% aware of it as well. So. That's all I got. I hope y'all are having a wonderful Tuesday and I will be talking to you soon. Bye.